there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the roaming ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do... Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. Here. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go, now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. Can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal. Over a girl. I'm saving her. With or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress.
There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. We can hide by that pickup. Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. around for weapons. They really want to get into that room. issue baby. That could scramble a 
animal brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. there we're here to help please just go away let's go guys in a minute if you open up we can take you somewhere safer we've got a group in town no 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 please. she's in trouble no. miss we're coming in Get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? When? I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Come with us. 
We will find you some help. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me? I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please! I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No! Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. You can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. I'm here with you. You're a good man. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. The pills are in there. How are we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. I can tell myself I care about it. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. I can't reach that brick. Think you can do anything with this? Yeah, I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much to do with it now. Man, I miss my robots. You're a strange guy, Doug. I know. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Can't reach that brick. Doug, you want to get 
this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Open sesame. That won't work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doc. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? I got a few of them to take notice. Weapons. I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Oh, my God. 
Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Hurry. Inland, a man has been downgraded temporarily to an eight, with attacks and rioting being reported in all precincts. 
Oh man, Clementine! It was so awesome! Meanwhile, inland, Atlanta has been downgraded temporarily to an eight, with attacks and rioting being reported in all places. And then this one time, Derek and Supergiant showed up in the city of Atlanta. But Derek had to put on a mega laser. Can you pay attention to where you live? Can you just look at it? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. I don't know how hard it is to keep track of things. It's not like I have much to begin with. I remember when I packed them up, I said, Hey, Glenn. Uncountable severe emergencies in all counties. Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage nine catastrophe. Augusta, stage... I think I need to go. It would left. Yeah, I got friends there, and I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it earlier. You never pay attention to the way you leave things. It was so awesome. As can, can you just look over there? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. Oh man, I don't know how hard it is to keep track of. How you doing, Carly? It's not like we have much to do. I'm okay. You know, considering. I do. Yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. I'm sorry, Carl. It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Did you check the glove box? Oh man, check this out. The Dumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's a... Not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Did you check the glove box? It's just a walkie-talkie. It probably wasn't much use to begin with. It wasn't just a walkie-talkie. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. 
It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Not really. Good. Stay away from her. Where everyone here knows that Lee Everett is a killer. And I'm not talking about those things out there. You hear me? I ask you a question, boy. Then again, I wouldn't expect a convicted murderer to listen to anything anybody's got to say. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits.